Hi guys, it's Paul from TradeFifth.com. I've just uh, put the Euro US dollar on a 30 second time frame just to show you how our Elliott wave does print in real time. Obviously, I've gone down quite a few time frames here just to show you. Uh, I've isolated at the top of this uh, um, trend and we're just letting it go. Uh, we're automating, automating the pullback zones as well. So when each candle closes, if the if the if this candle would have got a new low, it would have printed the wave three further down. Right now it's holding. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can capture a video where we, you know, we print in real time. It pulls back on a wave four and it prints those wave fours. Uh, so I don't know what's going to happen right here. It may just continue to go down on that um, third wave. You can see the false breakout stochastic at the bottom there. We've got those yellow dots. There you go. The wave three is reprinted again, reprints live. Okay, we there we go. Keeps going, keeps going, keeps going. We're reprinting that uh, wave count and we're also reprinting that pullback zone. Right now we're going very deep here on Euro US dollar. And um, we have that false breakout stochastic at the bottom, those yellow squares denoting that strong bearish trend. And what we're looking for is a pullback against those yellow dots and trying to cross over in the overbought zone against there into our pullback zones in here. So uh, let's just let this play out. Um, again, it's all live. Uh, this is a 30 second time frame. I've isolated at the top. Some people keep asking, do we actually print the wave count live? Yes, it does. Every time the rules change, uh, we get higher highs, uh, lower lows. Um, when we get the pullbacks, the software prints this live. So this is a 30 second time frame. So we're getting that candle change every 30 seconds. As you've seen, it keeps reprinting that third wave because we keep going. And all we've got to do is look for that wave for pullback. Now, there we go. It's reprinted again on this candle because it's a new low. We've got that move continuing. That wave three continues. It's reprinting. Now, it could be on here for 10 minutes and it can just keeps going on the wave three. It could be a really long move. Um, but I just wanted to show you how uh, the Elliott Wave software does reprint live those wave counts uh, it is totally live we've got these pullback zones that keep adjusting it actually measures the difference between the the second and the third wave and then projects those pullback zones so if it does pull back and it pulls back into one of those zones prints a wave four finds resistance in this case and then starts to move back down again then we've got a great looking potential fifth wave move so right now we're getting a bit of a bullish candle. It might be a one candle wonder. We've printed that wave three at that low point then. And on this current candle, we're pulling back up against it. Let's see how this uh, pans out. Uh, again, this is quite a strong bearish move here on Euro US dollar. Um, whether it's got enough juice to pull back, I don't know. Let's, let's see. Again, we're not going to print a wave four. The, the software is not going to print a wave four unless it pulls back into one of those zones. If we've just got a one candle wonder here on that green candle, it won't print the wave four. It needs to get into those zones. So let's see how this progresses. Uh, we have a little pullback here. Remember, a wave four pullback against a really strong wave three is a measured move. And we measure that move with these probability pullback zones into uh, the green, which is an 85% probability. It's going to go on and make a new wave five low in this case. Or uh, amber is an 80% probability and red is a 75. There, wave four is just printed. But also, we're printing the automatic fifth wave target zone down here in blue. So not only are we printing those live Elliott wave uh, wave counts, uh, we're printing uh, the automated pullback zones, but now we've printed a fifth wave, automated fifth wave target zone. So if we do find that resistance in one of our pullback zones and it starts to move back down, the likelihood is it's going to hit that automated fifth wave target zone. Again, this is just an example on a 30 second time frame. I'm not, I, I don't scalp uh, uh, Forex, but I, the only way to show you this live was put it on a lower time frame. 
and try and record this live to show you that um, the software does print those wave counts live as each candle um, projects a new high or a low uh, on the current move or the pullback against the current move. So I'm just going to, again, I didn't know what was going to happen when I was going to make this short video, but I can't continue this video forever. Um, but we'll just give it another minute or so just to see what happens here. Uh, but great, you know, great pullback uh, into that green zone. Uh, you know, we are looking for a short into that fifth wave target zone here. And not everything's lined up. But uh, again, this was just a trial just to show you how we can um, measure those Elliott waves. The software automatically prints it. The pullback zones are automatically printed, and so are the fifth wave target zones. So um, let's see what happens. It looks pretty good. This could be an ABC correction into a, a, a higher uh, fourth wave, or in fact, it could print that fifth wave if it breaches this third wave pivot. Uh, right now, we're, we're, we're moving back down after that wave four pullback. As soon as we breach that wave three low there, if it does, it will print a fifth wave um, on those uh, labels. And again, the fifth wave target zone is down here, automatic. Let's see how it plays out. Let's just zoom in a little bit here. But hopefully you've got the gist of this, that the, the software is live and automatically repaints, reprints those wave counts. But not only that, we need to give you help into those wave four pullback zones, those prob pullback, probability pullback zones, but also those automated fifth wave target zones as well. So right now we've pulled back on a wave four. We haven't hit the fifth wave target zone. Uh, we, we, you know, at the moment, we're going to pull back up. This could be an ABC correction into that amber zone right now before we come back on the fifth wave. If we get a higher fourth wave here, that fifth wave target zone will be automatically adjusted by the software. Again, this is this is a Forex pair. This could be futures. It could be stocks. Uh, it could be crypto. Uh, what we're looking for is measuring those uh, pullbacks looking for those uh, fourth wave pullbacks and trading that fifth wave. Uh, again, what, some of the things that we also help with that is the the, um, the false breakout stochastic. Now, that's not pulled up into the overbought zone against those yellow bars. So right now, I wouldn't have triggered that short because it's a lower probability because it didn't behave on stochastic. Again, it's not really a, um, a 30 second sort of uh, I've not got experience trading that 30 second, but I just wanted to make this video to show you um, that the software is live. It's totally live, reprints, reprints. Uh, so I'm just going to give it another, I'm going to make this video a 10 minute video. So we're at eight minutes now. So let's just see how it pans out and I'll finish it. But hopefully you've got a good understanding of how this works. And it doesn't matter which time frame it is. Uh, you can isolate the start of that trend and it automatically prints repaints those wave counts and these automated probability pullback zones and target zone for the fifth wave. Got a little flat now. We've got another minute left. I'm going to cut it off at 10 minutes, uh, but hopefully you've seen how this works. There's no straight up or straight down moves, I'm afraid, in trading. Uh, and again, I'm recording this live, so I'm just going to see what happens here. We've got just less than a minute left. don't want to make this any longer than a 10-minute video. But hopefully, um, you know, this really just shows you the power of this software. And it's live on this TradingView flat platform as well. Some platforms would grind to a halt on this time frame, calculating all of this Elio wave, uh, the FIB levels and all the other uh, rules that we do. But you can see here, it printed automatically straight away and repainted those, those wave counts. Okay, so we're just coming up onto uh, the 10 minutes now. This could go sideways for a while. But hopefully now you can see how that Elliott wave works. And it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you. 
So hopefully this has been helpful and I'll speak to you all really, really soon.